then again, that could just be Ocarina of Time saying, Blue is Nehru. Nehru is Wisdom. But I think they retconned it in, uh, like, the past GBA. So that gives you the Pendant of Wisdom, but still keeps it as blue. But yeah, if we come in here... That is 50 rupees, because those are all blue chest, uh, blue rupee pots. Well, like I said, I don't need that many fucking rupees. in this game. Which is sad that I don't rightly remember that offhand because I know this game better than the back of my hand. I mean, I guess the closest thing that I can think of that comes to Go uh, Goma in this game is... The Helmosaur King? Eh, Moldorm's not that bad. He's a bit of a fucker, though, so... Eh. And we can get 17... Not 17. Seven more hard pieces before we go into Dark World. No, we can get three more, that's right. Because I know it's, um... Nine hearts with three quarters of the... The tenth. Which, immediately, you can get a heart piece as soon as you enter Dark World, so... I'm good at math. Though, to be fair, it was more a case of I saw the eight hearts on my health meter, knew I can get a ninth one, guaranteed. I forgot it was the Tower of Hera's boss heart. So, you know, there's that. Oh, man. No. Oh, hey! I was about to say, fuck you, crab, but, uh, all is forgiven. I both gave me my hearts back. I think I can play yep. I can play baseball with the uh shallow water Zorus. Whereas that's the best thing you can do. Though I love it when the shadow the shallow water Zoras appear in the deep water. Because they jump out, try to jump at you, but they just fall back into the water. It's the dumbest thing ever, but it's so funny. Then again, my sense of humor is stupid, so... Oh, thanks, dickhead. I want flippers! I know somebody tells you about this... ...later in the game? But I don't remember which character it is and where they are. I've just come here between uh, Desert Palace and the Tower of Hera for at least 15 years. Every time I play this game. This is one of those games in the series that I play just every year. Just out of tradition. So there's things that I do that I don't remember where you're supposed to find out. Read this and where the dude that marks your map for is hospitalized. Which actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm th I think it's the one dude near the chicken coop in the south of town. I don't know, 
of why I'm thinking about it. But in this fairy fountain, we can upgrade the boomerang. We can upgrade our shield. And at all fairy fountains like this, except for the one that uh, gives you quiver and bomb bag upgrades, you can throw an empty bottle in for magic potion. things that I can upgrade. Nope. Unfortunately, I can't. And this is the shield that we will have for pretty much the rest of the game. I mean, technically, we do upgrade the shield again, but that's not until Turtle Rock which is basically the end of the game. Uh, depending on what kind of trap you're talking about, I think some people might be into that. Here I am just digging myself into a hole. Yeah, fuck that! You're scary! <laughs> you know what? I don't even care. And for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that thing. All I know is it's a rupee shitter. Now you have to go to Onnit for those. <laughs> it's like, uh, there's a monster that appears, um, on your way to the Kakariko Village Great Fairy Fountain in Breath of the Wild, where if you sneak up on it and smack it with one of your weapons, it will, uh, give you a ton of money for each time you hit it. And for the longest time, I called it the Money Rabbit. And then I talked to the Koroks in Korok Forest. And they're like, no, that thing's called a bloopy. Take a picture of it. I like my name for it better. <laughs> they're only made to do like fuck <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. Hilarious, but terrible. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I make no promises. There's two ways to get this heart piece in here, but this is the easiest one, plus it's the one that you can get it the earliest. Because if memory serves, you can come back after beating Swamp Palace, stand over there, and use the hookshot to grab onto the telepathy plate. I 
also I just realized I forgot something down on the down near Lake Hylia. Not that I particularly need it, but it is the third bottle. If I can avoid the rocks, I'm going to. And every time I do that cutscene where the old man gives me the fucking mirror, I always get hit. Uh, is there a difference between the Wii version and the 3DS version on that? I really don't want to buy Chronicles X for Wii U. Plus, I'd be playing a fairly long RPG totally blind, which, with my track record, is not good. First things first, in this dungeon, you want to grab that. And hey! Baby Mordorm didn't escape. I don't even know what the thing's really called, but fuck it, let's go with that. Memory serves, I can do. Yep. I think I want to blow up anyway. I think that's the fastest you can find the map in a dungeon. I mean, it's literally in the first fucking room. This is one of those rooms where you have to fight. But you can just... Never mind. I was going to say you can just spam the sword button, but, uh... Nope. Or, you know, Link can be retarded and spin the wrong fucking direction. This isn't funny. And it wasn't until recently I realized that the reason why this room in particular is sloped is because the Tower of Hera is circular. And we're at the base. Which is the same reason for this one, but by that logic, this is a really tiny tower. Wow, thanks for not dropping anything, assholes. Yeah, there's a large magic cannon here. Red Stalfos suck because when you scare them, they, uh, shit up bones at you. I have a new 3DS. And it's the one that has the capture bridge on it. But isn't the 3DS version the same as the Wii one? Because Nintendo has a tendency of rampantly just re-releasing a ton of fucking games on a bunch of different platforms. But hey, at least it's not fun, uh, Square Enix with Final Fantasy IV, am I right? There's been one... There's been a remake of Final Fantasy IV every major fucking console since the Super Nintendo. Well, at least every major generation. Or in some cases, several times in the same generation. Know, the whole thing's fucking confusing. Technically, I do have my Wii U hack, but I can't download it because it's larger than my SD card. I think the download manager says it's like 21 gigabytes, and I've only got a 16 gigabyte card. And that's 21 gigabytes for the base game, not including any DLC or updates. Which I'm fairly certain it's had updates, I don't know about DLC. Okay, good. Good 
dungeon treasure here actually has a bit of a trick to it. You have to have the button switched like this, and you have to fall there. And we have the Moon Pearl now. So now we no longer turn into Bunny Link. Um, I can't remember. What color is the switch on? Is there a button up here that I can hit? Okay, never mind. I don't have to. Let's top off. And I hate the red. Oh, wow. The red one's the one I hit. <laughs> I was about to say, I hate this fucker. It takes forever to kill him. And then I just said, oops. Okay, the strategy here is to hit Moldorm in the tail. And something you'll see me doing a lot is spin attacks. To hit bosses with the spin attacks, do double normal sword, sword damage. Now he's gonna start going ape shit. Oh, whoa, speaking of ape shit. Woo! Come on, fuck you. Oh, he's not gonna come over here. Because he's afraid of me. Actually, I just think he's angry. And I took way more damage than I probably should have. It's a good thing I topped off. What'd you say? And you said this fight was gonna suck. The Pendant of Wisdom! Go to the Lost Woods and get the Master Sword!